In this lesson, you'll learn how to do a stock take. It's important to count your stock regularly to account for any variance. To perform a stock take, go to the stock menu and select stock take. Here we can see a list of our previous stock takes. If there are any pending or active stock takes which contain the products you want to count in your new stock take, you won't be able to add them until the past stock takes are completed or deleted. All of my past stock takes are completed, so I'll press new to create a new one. And I'll type in the name of the stock take. Then press next at the bottom of the screen. We'll then need to select which products we want to count by pressing the add button and select the products. In this example, I'm going to count my Dermalogica Age Smart range. When you're finished selecting the products you would like to count, press Start. Yes, we do want to activate the stock take. Now we can select which reports we want to print. If we check this box here, the current levels for each product will be printed on the stock take form. The stock take form is the main form that you'll use during a stock take. This is where you write down all the quantities as you're counting each product. The unlisted stock form is useful to document any products you find during a stock take that aren't already in the system. The form can be used as a checklist to ensure that you don't forget to add these products into shortcuts. And you would use the stock maintenance form to list any products that are no longer usable. An example of this could be finding a product that's past its use-by date. Once you've chosen which forms you'd like to print, press Done to continue. As I'm going through and counting each product, I'll enter the numbers into the Count column. And Shortcuts will calculate any variance based on your average cost. If something comes up and you need to finish the stock take later, you can just press done and then come back into the stock take when you're ready and continue from where you left off. Once you're finished entering your count, press finish. Then shortcuts will ask us if we want to complete the stock take, which means that our current product levels will be updated. We'll select yes. If there was any variance, we will then be prompted to recount the items that varied from the computer count. If you want to recount, you can select Yes, or to continue with updating your current levels, click No. Now Shortcuts is informing us that we've completed the stock take and our product levels have been adjusted accordingly, so we can press Done to finish. Now you know how to complete a stock take, you can count your products regularly to ensure your levels are correct.